Cops find stolen car in woods, but see something more horrifying nearby. Late in November of 2017, a man was walking his dog along a rural road in Jackson County, Oregon. The dog ended up wandering off the roadway into the dense woods with his owner following close behind. Suddenly an overturned vehicle caught the man's eye, it was covered in leaves, sticks, and dirt and looked like it had been there for quite some time. The man called the local police to report the car in the woods and they went out to investigate the wreck. They found the abandoned car at the base of a cliff which made it virtually impossible to see for anyone looking down from the road up above. Upon further investigation, police confirmed that it was the same Porsche that was stolen 27 years before. On 20th of January 1991, local authorities of Jackson County, Oregon received a call about an offense. Someone wanted to report that their car had been missing outside the Southside Cinema located in Medford. It was a Porsche 924, a particularly special vehicle because it was the German car company's first automobile to feature a fully automatic transmission. The cops weren't sure if they would ever find the missing car's years had passed and its whereabouts remained unknown. Until, in November the officers found the car, but there was little way of knowing how long it had been there and what happened. The local authorities, however, confirmed that the car's registration expired the same year that it was reported stolen. So was it simply abandoned after the unlawful was committed? Or was something darker yet to be revealed? The car was on its roof and there were bones scattered on the ground nearby. Fearing the worst, investigators examined them closely before breathing a sigh of relief. The bones were of an animal and most likely that of a deer and not of humans. Despite having the name of the owner listed on the stolen car report from 1991, police were unable to locate them. The vehicle's location on steep muddy terrain presents logistical and environmental concerns for removal. The sheriff's department stated that the officials are working to determine the best course of action. Its final resting place was at the bottom of a cliff surrounded by dense forest until they find a way to remove it. This isn't the first time a stolen car reported missing suddenly popped up out of nowhere years later. It has happened more than a few times all over the world. A group of children in Los Angeles, California also stumbled upon a car buried in their yard while playing outside. The investigation revealed that it was a 1974 Dino 246 GTS and somehow the sports car had ended up buried in the front yard. Fortunately, the cops tracked down the owner, he was a plumber from Alhambra, California named Rosendo Cruz. He had purchased the car as a birthday gift to his wife, Unfortunately, it was stolen on December 7, 1974. He and the missus went to dinner and, at the end of it, received the much unwelcome surprise of finding the car gone. The owner didn't expect to reunite with the car and never bothered. Neither the neighbors nor the current tenants could remember any suspicious activity. It is said that Cruz had hired the thieves to steal his precious Dino so he could claim the insurance on it and split the money among themselves. The thieves were supposed to bury it until Cruz filed the claim, then return for it, take it apart, and dump it wherever they could, however, the thieves forgot where they had buried the Dino and they planned to keep it or sell it off. Once a 1968 Chevrolet Corvette was stolen from Manhattan. The owner, Alan didn't have insurance and suffered financially. Then in 2006, almost 37 years later it was found in Long Beach, California. By then Allen had become a successful Northern Californian businessman and was tracked down by authorities. The car still belonged to him since he hadn't filed an insurance claim on it. He couldn't be happier to finally have a special Corvette back. In August 2017, about 100 miles east of Paris police retrieved a Peugeot 104 in a local pond. The car was found in Chalon and Champagne. After being towed to a nearby garage local mechanic was surprised by how good it still looked. Frank Menard, the local mechanic, gave an interview to the Daily Telegraph. In the interview, he said that the paintwork is still blue and there's still chrome on the bumpers. The car had been missing for nearly four decades after initially being reported as stolen in 1979. The original owner was even located by the police, although by that point it was officially owned by her insurance. Finally in Frankfurt, Germany in 2017 a man's car was found 20 years after it went missing. It was located in the garage of a building that would soon be demolished. Someone reported it to the authorities when they thought it was in the way of the demolition. The police did eventually trace this car back to its owner who is now 76 years old. 
Interestingly there was no evidence of an offense, he simply forgot where he parked. The owner was happy to reunite with it before it was turned into scrap metal. These cars are more than just a way to get around. They are a statement reflection of their driver's personalities and ambitions.